All right, guys, welcome back to another podcast. Today's topic involves Vetex's games. I don't know if you know Vetex, but he's a developer who made the games One Piece Golden Age, Arkane Adventures, and World of Magic, and Pirate Party, etc. Et so, us three, well, my friends are here, Turismo and um, Astrap. We, we love Vetex's games. They're a major part of our childhood, and we wanted to do a podcast on it. So, uh, how I got introduced to Vetex was still One Piece Golden Age. I had a lot of fun on that game, and Vetex, being a One Piece fan, he made it as best as he could around that time. So, I don't know if you guys remember, but Golden Age was really one of the best One Piece games at that time. Like, right now, it's shit, but like, if it came out now, I mean, if it came out before then, when it did come out before then... It was pretty good. It was everyone loved it, even if though even if it had some broken boobs like party tail, party table kick, of course. But what about you, Terry? Yeah. So for me, um, I didn't really, I didn't really play any of the games beforehand. But the game that I played, the first game that I played that was made by Vtex was Arcane Adventures, and I didn't really. I didn't even play the game based off of prior information. I was quite literally just looking for games one day, and then I saw Arcane Adventures, and it was like uh, a grand opening. So I was like, okay, that that looks pretty interesting. And then lo and behold, <laughs> like four plus years later, I'm here now, and it's like one of the best games that I've ever played in general. Like not even just on Roblox, you know? And that might say something like maybe I need to play more games, but... Seriously, it's one of the most memorable games for me in my childhood, and even right now. So, yeah. <clears throat> uh, what about you, Ashra? Uh, you know, I found it the same way you did. You know, I was a fan of FedEx's Gold, One Piece Golden Age, uh, and you know, I was looking for other games when he closed One Piece Golden Age because uh, he said he wanted to do other things. Mm-hmm, yeah, and uh, I just got Arcane right. Adventures. It wasn't. I wasn't able to play it back then. I wasn't mm-hmm. able to play properly because my PC was pretty shit, and uh, you know I, I wasn't like having great. I wasn't having a great time, but I did end up upgrading a while after, and <laughs> two months after I got my upgrade PC, I was having a, I was having a blast with Arcane Adventures, and then it closed down. Mm, okay, so uh, thank you for that shot. So our real topic today is really to talk about the Arcane series because we really really like the arcane series we uh as visuals it's not the best but when it comes to story world building uh mind i say even gameplay it's pretty fun like my favorite thing about probably arcane adventure is definitely the adventuring like i like how vetex was capable of how can i say he added random islands that didn't really need to be needed, but it's there and it has treasure. Like, and it's it's fun. It, he literally rewards you for exploring. Uh, other games mm. that are like that are pirate based, like GPO, they don't do that. It's kind of just you go there, story, bam, continue. But yeah. in Arcane, you can like you can go to this random small little island, but all of a sudden it has a giant maze. You go through the maze and you just find a room of treasure. You did you did all that just by exploring. And yeah. and, and you just get so much from it. Not only that, I also in this recent installment, World of Magic, I what my one of my favorite things about World of Magic is definitely how interactive the NPCs are and the newsletter system. The newsletter mm-hmm. system for more context for the people who don't know it, it's basically every day cycle a newspaper comes telling you what's happening on the world. And that shit is so accurate that it's scary. Like, if you do a lot of good quests, it'll put your name there saying, this guy's clearing out Dark Wizards, good job. If you're doing a lot of bad shit, like blowing up castles, they'll be like, damn, this guy's doing a lot of bad shit, look out. It'll even tell you someone gets arrested. And another thing about the NPCs being interactive, it's the fact that if they die, like, let's say you're a shopkeeper, like an armor keeper, right? If they die, you can literally see on the newspaper looking for a new shopkeeper. And I love that. I'm like, bro, like they didn't, yeah. they, they didn't need, they didn't need to add that, but it's just so good. Look, it's so good. Yeah, and yeah, and that's yeah. to to add on to that. It's like 
another reason why that's I appreciate that a lot is because it makes you feel like you're actually in the world. Like you're not just like a you're not just a player that's there to gain levels, gain new moves, and then do PvP after. Like you're actually there in the story. Like for example, mm-hmm. a feature that Vitex was doing right uh, was um, adding crewmates onto your own ship, and they actually speak and stuff like that. And I was like, that is pretty sick. Like that is pretty yeah. cool. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Um, because it's like they're they're actively speaking. They're speaking amongst each other, and then you can. I think you can even assign like different ranks among your ship. Like, I'm pretty sure there was something like, um, for example, like a vice captain. You can have a vice captain on your ship. So it's like, it, it, it's just the interactiveness, as you said. It's, it makes you feel like you're actually in, you're, you're in the world. Like, you're, you're making change. You're, you're changing the balance of everything. You're, you're changing the economy. You're, you're, you're either making civilians safe or unsafe and stuff like that. Right. Another thing is is the even the bounty the new bounty system that he's implementing that yeah. is sick that is cool the fact that you can make a name for yourself like you, you're a, you're already able to have a a bounty in arcane adventures but it wasn't as polished as it is now which right. definitely makes sense but it, you know it's just that aspect you feel like you're actually in the world like you are there and you are influencing what goes on you're just you're not just a player that's there to level up, as and as I said, uh, do PvP after. Right. And and the adventure aspect, as you said, the adventure aspect in his games, they're like so. It, it's so diverse that it can it can literally be it can be something you do end game. Most games, um, you mainly do PvP as an end game option for most games. In his games, you can really do adventure. You, you you don't even have to care about PvP. You can do adventure. Right, there's so much collectibles. Yeah. You can literally go around yeah. finding new shit every day. Exactly. Like you can you can literally take the role of a merchant. Like I know some people <laughs> years ago yeah. back in adventures, like they called themselves a merchant because all they did was fish, collect chests, which then allowed them to get rare items, and then they people sell. still do that today in WoW mm-hmm. and World of Magic. Like there was a there was yeah. a merchant guild, a merchant guild straight for for being merchant trading and stuff like that. There was a whole economy. Yeah, now yeah. see, now look at that. See the Vantex if you're watching this, it's it's like your your players love your game so much that they themselves want to be a part of it. They start selling shit like how NPCs do it. It, it, and that's that's so cool. You should be proud of that. Your game does a lot for players like us. We love story. We love adventure. It, it, you basically did the best pirate game that I've seen, at least. It's mm-hmm. uh, like you can like not not to mention like you don't even have to be a pirate. You can join the AG. All right, don't even get me started on the AG. I find the AG is actually pretty cool. Like and mm. and people usually don't want to be on like the cop side, but people like being AGs because AGs aren't even bad. They're just you know hunting down menaces like pirates and stuff like that. People who are villains, like if you are a good pirate, they won't bother you. If you a menace with a high bounty and a villain, AG is getting you out the way because most players who have like the villain title, they're actually doing bad shit. Like they're killing. People. Yeah. They are, yeah. they are they are definitely evil. So yeah. let's say you're a new player and you get him mopped up. Who are you gonna call the AG? The AG, yeah. And and like another thing too is as you said, like the world, it, it, the world is so simulated. Like it's it's AG versus bad guys, and then bad guys versus like the good pirates. Yeah, and stuff like that. You know, the world is just as I keep saying, it's it's so damn diverse. Like, you can actually influence what's going on and stuff like that. But one thing that I feel like we need to touch on that, like, I feel like not a lot of the players really focus on, which isn't a problem, but it would be definitely more appreciated, is the lore. Every time I see a player, like, talk about the lore and bring up a character that's in the lore, I get excited because I genuinely read the lore. Like, like we all read the lore, and, and it's like, this is... For a Roblox game, yeah, this is pretty. This is pretty deep lore. This is pretty. I can't like seriously. I'm not even. I'm not even saying this 
just to emphasize the thing, but when I, when you do the quest to get the gauntlet from Theos, like, that story was kind of pulling on my heartstrings a little bit, I don't even like, not to the point of like crying or whatever, but it was like, it was like, damn, like, this guy is really, he this guy is OG, really, really bro. cool. Like, we yeah. started off with him, bro gave us our first magic weapon and a rowboat. Like, yeah. Come on, he was there since day one. Yeah, and and to add on more is like and the characters too, like the characters are genuinely cool. Like some of them like for example, um Trigno. Trigno favorite is character. definitely one of my favorite. Yeah, he, he's he's just vibing, doing his own stuff. But then you have characters like Rupin, who's a literal menace. Like, um if you check his if you check his uh in Arkane Adventures, you were able to see, like, his bounty poster. His bounty poster is literally him burning a base down, bro. Like, like you cannot <laughs> tell me. You cannot tell me that is not black. It, like, they have a picture of him burning their base down. Menace. Okay? Okay, and then you have the main, you have the main villain, you have the main menace, you have Durza out here, absorbed. The bro is, bro is basically black beard times 10. You just, just multiply that man by times 10. Right. And it's stuff like that. You know, it's, it's, it's the characters, it's the, it's the richness in the story, like all for a Roblox game. And it, it just took me aback for a second. And I feel like more people, you know, should, should appreciate the lore more because this must take a lot of thinking and a lot of world building to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of my, one of my, like, uh, when I, back when I played Arkane Adventures, my old favorite character for some reason was the first boss, the the Dart dude, because that like because uh if you remember I don't think you do because you said you came out when great the with the grand opening, but when you played yeah. Beta Shadow wasn't even out yet, so I'm like I'm fighting bro, and he's doing these dark moves. I'm like we can do that once that magic comes out. It was so cool. Not to mention his staff. He was basically Darth Vader. Bro had a force choke. you throw you around, explode for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I really like that guy. All your NPCs are like, they're not even randoms. They have a story. Like, even crazy wizards. They're just dudes who lost their mind and have magic. That's good enough. Yeah. Instead of just a random bandit, you know? Yeah, mm. and it's like, and another example of that, that everyone has a story, it's like, even the the NPCs that you know, in a way, they help you throughout. So, for example, like the fighting style NPCs, mm -hmm. they, for the most part, I think they all have lore. Like, for example, the boxing fist mentor. Apparently, that man should have one shotted Cthulhu, and that's basically the Kraken on steroids, right there. Yeah, right. You know, it's like, and then you have Freed Rock, who was the radius radius teacher. Mm -hmm. The, the the lore behind him is just something else. You, you would you would think he's just like a man. Like at first glance, you think he's a man. Oh, he just gives you radius fist. No, there is history behind this man that you you really like. This is the guy who's just chilling at an ice place. Like no way. So yeah. yeah bro's a menace. What about you, Astra? What's what's one of the things you like in any arcane game? World of Magic. Man, I think you guys covered all of it. I. I just really love the world building. I love I love the immersiveness and everything. I just it's crazy. Cause like I feel like I'm actually be I'm actually part of this. I'm trying to what's called like I remember my first day in World Magic after it released. I mm. was telling them um, my old guild master, shit. I don't even care if um you know I don't I don't come the strongest or like you know I I'm not I'm not number one on the leaderboard or whatever like that. I just want like have my name known you know like throughout the servers or whatever. Like I just want like people to like be in like the thing and be like, oh shit, that's some, um, that's Astrap, you know, what was called like, or something like that. Cause, right. Like I just wanted to be a part of it, and it was all it was all so crazy because like the NPCs would be walking around, and they're doing their own thing, and like even just today, um, three, um, we were watching three NPCs raid um, yeah, the Arctic government's tower. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that, that was <laughs> just. Funny. Oh, no, they're just, just doing thing. it of their own will. They another, just they just start raiding the tower. Another thing about uh this damn world building, bro. They the dog, when when I'm talking about even even though they're annoying, the random pirate spawns. Like, because it doesn't make you feel like you're not the only players on the damn water. You got things to literally worry about in the water. 
You have yeah. literal pirates. You got Trigno pulling up. You got uh, what's that other guy mm-hmm. with the golden pirate, something like that? Shine, shine. Avaril. Avaril. His that name is Avaril. Avaril. Yeah. That bro, the Kraken, ghost ships. You can literally follow dead ships that used to die, that, that you were dead before, and they show you their loot. And those loot would always be fire. No other game mm. is the, like I've never seen world building like that before. Like it's just it's it's so good. Don't I mean, like customization? I guess that's one thing he needs to work on, but he kind of fixed it up on World of Magic. He gave you a lot more like uh magical customization, which we all love. Like it makes it makes us like our character. Actually, let me talk about that. World of Magic as even though it flopped, it had the key components to really be one of the best games on Roblox. It Different. had it had detail. It had like literally player like a uh, player world interaction. You can break shit and stuff like that. It had a lot okay. of magics for people to make shit. You had slots so you can try out different builds. Oh, another favorite thing about this that I really hope he does in Arcane Odyssey was the fact that in World of Magic, you can bro, you can probably accidentally start a race war. Because niggas, like, because when I was playing World of Magic, I was in Ironport, and I see people from Summerhold, I'm like, fuck you, you know, you're not born from where I'm from, I'm from, oh, my I, I, I'll rep Ironport, IP forever, IP forever, because, like, cause, yeah. like the thing for that is that it, it's not only, it's not only, like, a, a name holder, like, to say where you're born, you literally can't buy any gear anywhere else because you're not born from there, and I find Man. that, and I find that really interesting. Because it really, it really makes you feel like, damn, this is my home. I always have to come back here to get all the good shit, and I can never get any, get anything else anywhere else. You feel me? And each, literally, literally each, um, town or city, or whatever, has different looking stuff it, because you're literally different from everybody. Summerhold has like more night stuff, while uh. Ironport probably has a I forgot, but like you know they all they, they have the the, yeah, yeah they had fishing shit exactly. It was so like different shield designs. They were all cool, man. It was so good. Man, I remember yeah. wearing the Vesterian bracelet around. It was it was if you were Vesterian and you weren't wearing the bracelet, you weren't loyal to Vesteria. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like you gotta rep your place, bro. That was the old blade, bro. And yeah. it's like uh, the comments about the. The ships and thing, you know, it's I, that's something. That's another thing I especially appreciate because you, the top leading pirate slash One Piece esque type games right now, you know, for a game about pirates, it is sure lacking in that area. Okay, that's I don't what mean, I'm saying. You know, so so I'm gonna have to call out a specific name because it's a game I've played. I don't mean to throw any shade at this game, but I'm gonna have to call it out. To support my example, and in this case, it would be GPO. <laughs> this is no hate to GPO, but you guys yeah. should really upgrade your the pirate schematic in when it comes to yeah, that. yeah. That's what I'm saying because it's like they quite literally only spawn when you have a bounty and you're out in the sea. You know, so it it just makes the sea feel empty. Like you're like, you're the only one there, and then there's some islands. That's what made me appreciate like the the sea life in Arcane Adventures and and upcoming in Arcane Odyssey like way more. As you said, the boss ships, you know what I'm saying? The, the Kraken, the Kraken in the middle, the ghost ships. As you said, like, are you serious, bro? The random, like, the random loot, like random crates falling off yeah. ships, just staring in the water. He does. He That's literally didn't saying. need to add that, but it's there. There's secrets yeah. everywhere in Sandera. There's a random wall you can break to get treasure. Like, it's just that yeah. good. Yeah, and and even more feats for the immersiveness. It's like every person you talk to, they always give a va- they always give valuable information. They they always <laughs> you always leave knowing something new. You know what I'm saying? So like for example, um, so this isn't. Okay, so this isn't exactly a game made by Vtex, but but here's the thing: it was a game, it was a fan-made game. So that's even more testament. <laughs> that, imagine people love your game so much; years later, they out here recreating it. Right. So this is mainly an arcane, Rebo- an arcane um, reborn. Um, 
I so I went up just just this morning. I was in Cerulea and I went in like the library because there's like a library area. Mm-hmm. And I went up there, and you know if you if you talk to some of the wizards there, because th- this was in adventures also. If you if you talk to some of the wizards there, some of them were straight up like they didn't like people from the sea. So like they were separated. Like they were at the top, we were at the bottom. They didn't like wizards that were born at, from the sea. And you're kind of like, okay, so what's up about that, bro? So I went into the thing, and there was an NPC. And I, I literally remember his name. It was a Brandon. Of, Brandon. Of <laughs> <laughs> and and he, start, he, he he says the typical, oh, you're from the sea, oh, you're disgusting, or whatever. And it was like, and the player asked, like, why are you saying that about me? And he gives insight. He's like, like because some of y'all are just straight up violent. <laughs> <laughs> Should have said that. Y'all are just straight up violent. Not y'all, even y'all, wrong. Y'all, yeah, like, like, y'all just be doing way too much out here. You, one guy is destroying islands. Another one is taking over islands. Another one is is, is in the middle of the sea, causing random rampages. Like y'all be out here violent, you know. And it's, and it was like, damn, because that's kind of true. Because to an extent, even the players act like that. So it's yeah. like, <laughs> Oh <laughs> they, the game got it. The game's telling the message right there. So it's like you you learn something new from everyone you talk to. Like, and I don't even I don't even know how they do that. Like, I don't. They each dialogue you get from each character is unique, and you learn from it. You learn from it, and and that that conversation I had with that one NPC was just an example of that. So mm-hmm. that's how I, that's yeah. You literally learn something like we learn something the player don't even know. Like we, <laughs> like you got people literally hiding in the skies because we're how bad we are. It, exactly. It's just, it's just damn. And then even like they they underestimate us so much that one of the people who live up there try to fight us, saying you know nothing about magic. Come up here, boy. And like we swing. Obviously, we win because we're the protagonist. But then it's 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 just like damn. They they've been living this life so good harnessing their magic because it's a hard fight it's definitely a hard fight and because he has he introduces us to magic weapons he's just in the magic horn you even get it if you beat him and it's just it's it's good it's good yeah yeah and it's and another thing is like you know back back to the lore because for me for me to be honest the, the lore for me the lore is my favorite thing like above all as I mm. said, the Lord, the Lord for me is for everything above think, all. Uh, just, yeah, I think Vedex also had a thing where he was um adding scrolls and like just random scrolls and books to he was gonna add them to Wom, but uh, people you know he's gonna add he's gonna create he create um Arcane Odyssey now, mm-hmm. so he was gonna add random scrolls and books that you know didn't do anything for your gear or anything. They were just like they just had lore inside them. Bro, just, honestly, just need a job. stories. Like honestly, bro, we've been waiting like how long? How yeah. long I've been waiting for this? We say this all the time. We're not even exaggerating either. I think Odyssey is about to be like the saving grace of Roblox. Of 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 Roblox because every it checks off everything. It's it's a good game. It's actually gonna deliver. It's immersive. And then another thing, it's just yeah, uh-huh. yeah. And then another and you thing have is to be good at the game. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You can just carry like, your friends and you can vibe. Yeah, like as I said, as you said before, like PvP is not just is not the only end game option. As we said before, that's where a lot of these games fall short because it's just a bunch of grinding, and it's just you just do PvP. But the problem with that is is that most of the games, you know, their PvP is mid is bad to mid, you know. So it's like exactly, and I'm not hyping up. Um, Arcane Odyssey's I PvP. Am. Because, yeah, yeah, you are. Because, because yeah. here's the thing: like, you know, Arcane Adventures PvP was never really its strong suit. Let me just put that out there. It, it really wasn't. It, it oh, was really. Oh, def- like, I agree. Because, uh, yeah, yeah. the uh, it, it's the. I think it has to do with um, it's really the magic stalling. Like you know when you're um, uh, what you might call it. Using a magic, you just stop in the middle of in the middle of the sky, then shoot. It just really slows down the combat. Not to mention, open you up to really just get shot at. And yeah. that's that's where well, the magic kind of fixes itself because you can, it, even though you can you can still stop. 
you can it's the it's the customization like you can, you don't even have to shoot anything you can summon a pillar of light or earth or something you can just throw like a big ass pillar or you can uh do a huge shock wave it, it's just there's a lot of variety you can do it you still technically you stopped in, you yeah want. you still technically stopped in the air i like um don't i don't i don't really have a problem with it but i know it affects uh the combat it's and how combat. people how people feel about the combat yeah yeah and it was like from from what i was saying um in in terms of end game i forgot my point almost but it's like as you said before <clears throat> Um, PvP was never its its strong suit, but you didn't have to do that. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you you, you don't have to. It's not a, it's not something you have to do. You can go straight to adventuring, or as as Shep said, I think carrying your friends. And what was I th what was I saying? We were saying we were talking about how why it's gonna be the saving grace of Roblox. Yeah. No exaggeration. No I'm, at all. I am serious. I am being. So uh, honest here, bro. It's like we we uh, what you call it? It's a uh, yeah. We're 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 completely serious to the fact that we don't even think Arcane deserves to be on Roblox due to how Roblox literally <laughs> breaks. Yeah, game. definitely. No, no, it doesn't. It's, Roblox it's, doesn't deserve Arcane Odyssey at all. At, literally yeah. at all. Like this, it might sound like straight delusion, but here. It's, you hear us out. It, it it might sound like straight delusion, but it's think it, about it. It's, trust me, it's not the, the only game we think that shouldn't be on yeah. Roblox. Like a lot of good games yeah. with original stories, like Pokemon, Brick Bonds, stuff like that. Like we we we're not just being biased. We just we like we can definitely agree. There's some games that that are just hindered by the Roblox uh, engine and just can't do as much as they want because it's just Roblox isn't really that reliable as an engine yeah and then um from back to my point when i was saying one of the reasons why i think arcane odyssey is going to do good this one we mentioned it's really good it's actually good another two another thing is it's not over it's not overhyped like most games were it's like it's a very it's like it has like a mellow it has a mellow hype surrounding it yeah you know so that way when it does release you know, and people and people who haven't heard it from just straight overhyping, you know, they're gonna play this and be like, "Yo, this is this is actually good." Because I know a few games that they were so overhyped that when they did drop, they failed to deliver badly, deep open. like horribly. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know, and other games too is they delivered, they failed to deliver compared yeah. to the hype, and that's what unfortunately killed them. That might not make sense, but it really does. Yeah, you know? I, I know exactly what you mean. It it's just ah, it we love that game so much, man. It's just I can't wait for Arcane Odyssey to drop due to the sneak peeks. It's it, oh, bro. When I saw those flying ships, I was like, oh, oh, this is amazing. Yeah. Not not to mention he's adding even more player ability, like with uh cooking. I am so excited for cooking because. Don't get me wrong. As much as we like, like as much as the internet or Roblox would like to uh, would like to show that role playing is like weird or uh, cringy and stuff like that, let's be let's 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 go to the facts right now. Every movie you've ever watched is role playing. If role playing mm -hmm. if role playing is good, done well, it actually has a good story. We can record it and people would like it. It's just and see. It's just some. Some. It's just sometimes when people do role play in front of us, it's cringy, of course. But like due to arcane, uh, arcane Odyssey, your end game literally doesn't have to be, uh, just like uh, like uh, adventuring or stuff like that. You can start your own story. You can have. You can have your. Own, you can literally record anything and do anything you want. Your end game could be that you just want to make every single recipe out there. Exactly. There's so much to yeah. do, so much to look for, so much to want. It's like, well, that you could learn an instrument in Arcane Odyssey. Oh, that could be oh good my in. god! Oh, I can't wait. For that. <laughs> oh, so you can good. Really... You could, you could be, you you could want to be build the best ship out there. Like damn, you could work as a shipwright, bro. <laughs> like literally, you just help fixing stuff up, man. Arcane Odyssey is gonna be. Peaceful. You're, I 
I imagine that you could even like put fashioning as your your end game. Um, there's this there's a thing in Warframe. Um, you, you might not know it. Uh, the end game would people would say the end game is finishing the story. You know, getting to wherever up to date in the storyline. But the real end game is being able to trade the the paid currency and being able to like put fashions on your frame, coloring them, making them like look better. That mm-hmm. could be your end game in Arcane Odyssey because we do people do that in World of Magic. They make themselves look nicer. I've seen a samurai in World of Magic. Right. The, you it, could have, yeah. you know, fashioning could be your end game. That that you see the same that you can do any there's so much like there's a lot of possibilities just for you not to get bored. And not to mention if you, even if you do get bored, guess what you're gonna end up doing anyway? Starting off with a new magic because you wanna experience everything. That's why I think Vetex is a. Uh, even though he has his ups and downs, he has more ups than downs. Let's believe it. And then, and, like, way more. The magic, the magic system more. is is fucking amazing. I, oh, I fucking love the magic system. Oh, one last point before we close. The mag- That's a good. That's a good one. That's trap. The magic system. I'm talking. Wait, you don't even notice that you start shooting with one hand yet. It's like in Arcane Adventures. Right. It's like you 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 start off shooting with two hands. Then once you reach level one hundred, when your magic level is a bit higher, you don't even know that you're shooting in one hand because you're progressing with the character. You are the character. Man. You just it's just like a second. It's like a what's what do they call it? Uh, second nature at this point. You just know oh, you're man. that nigga. It's just like damn. Don't even don't even get me started when you reach tier five. That just makes you feel oh, like man. a god when you see all those circles. Don't they, oh. don't, they, don't even let me tell you what's called them. Um, the new system, like even the new system, fire stops bleeding. Fire stops your bleeding. The bleeding status, fire stops it. If you charge your magic and you have fire or lightning or anything like that, it stops your bleeding. The clashing system is crazy. Earth, metal, they you know they have a high health. Mm-hmm. So if you're clashing with anything else other than earth or metal, your 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 magic is not going to what's called beat them out if you're hitting them both. If they're you're hitting both magic at the same time, mm-hmm. it's going crazy. Yeah, like dog, and I like I don't know if this is true, but I'm hearing that in Odyssey we can have different variations. Like we all know what mutations are, we might get yeah. like diff- different different magics. Yes, and I can't wait for that. But uh, yeah. that's all for the podcast today, guys. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, we we really love the game. We're really immersed, and we just love talking about it. We had so much fun doing this, yeah. and. If you guys are ever interested in playing Arcane Reborn with us, uh, I'll leave the link in the Discord. You can join my community, the whole tribe. We play Arcane Reborn. We help people. We give them items, stuff like that. We uh, take over islands. We just, you know, we that crew. We also play other games, but like, you know, if you're interested, just join, join the Discord. Like, we we have fun. We have fun. But yeah, that's all. Anything you guys want to say before I close out? Uh, not much. Yeah, I already said what I gotta say. That's yeah. right. Man, I I'm all good here. I I don't even, if I start talking again, it's gonna take another two hours. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you for watching again. Goodbye.